Hello everyone, a short video here. So Ukraine has managed to capture a pretty rare and modern T80 BVM variant. The OBR 2022 version. Just three of these are on Oryx so far. Two destroyed, one damaged and abandoned, and now this one I expect will be added soon. These are some of the fresh batch of T80 tanks manufactured last year. The T80 BVM is an improvement on the older T80 BV. It has better firepower, more protection, and more manoeuvrability. A new gunner's sight has also been added to the model. Its armour protection includes relict explosive reaction armour plating, which is also seen on the T90M. The gun has a max range of 3000 meters and is also capable of firing the 9M119M, which is an anti-tank guided missile with a range of 5 kilometers. Last year, Russia had 170 T80 BVM variants, but it's unknown how many have since been produced in 2022. As mentioned, of the 2022 version, just three are on Oryx so far. However, there are 80 of the older T80 BVM variants listed, so a pretty significant number of the BVM fleet is destroyed. This one looks to be in pretty good condition, so Ukraine can very likely put it straight back into service unless it's decided to send it to the boffins to poke and prod and study, since it's the first one of the um, 2022 BVMs captured. The most surprising thing about this tank is that the inside is clean and well maintained. Usually when we see captured Russian vehicles, the inside looks like a tramp's been living in for the past year. This could be because it's brand new in theatre, and they just haven't had the time to make it filthy yet. Or but the crew of this one were pretty well disciplined and competent and kept the tank in good condition. So an extra clip here, stuck on the end of a T80 video as a bonus. This shows another vehicle captured, a Russian BMP-2 being towed by Ukraine after being captured in recently liberated Storazeva. 845 BMP-2s are lost so far, so they're not having the most successful of wars. A massive 235 of these are shown as captured, so a pretty sizable addition to Ukraine's own forces. Russia had 2,970 in service last year, so a big chunk of the fleet is now gone. And here's a quick update on the situation, as shown by Deep States. Storazeva doesn't actually show up on this map, but it's west of Blahodatna, on the other side of the river. It's one of the recently liberated settlements north of Makarivka. The T-80 which we saw, there's no confirmation as to where exactly that was captured, other than it was in the location of the counter-offensive. So that's it for this video, I hope you found it interesting, if so, please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care everybody.